Hi guys. Um, this is one of the extra classes. It's pop up class. Um, first half of Pilsen. Next week I will do another one. Second half of Pilsen and put it all together. Um, we did this last summer. Some of you guys got it. Some of you guys got it and you haven't practiced it since then. And you spend too much time learning forms to lose them. So we're going to practice it. Um, we're going to do a short warm up. This isn't a whole long class. This is meant to supplement a class. So it goes in addition to a class, in addition to another workout. You have tongue snow people, you have classes, video classes, Monday and Thursday, they come out. You have a zoom class every week. There's, I think three options that Miss McCoy teaches CDF. Plus there are challenge classes. Um, Mr. Parody and I think B and Mr. Luke have been putting together some ninja tricks workouts and some challenges there. So there's enough workouts to get you through the week. This is a bonus. So we're going to start off just with a really short warm up, just because, just because we're going to be doing some kicking. And if you don't do some warm ups first, the side kicks are not going to be fun. So we're going to start off with some jump, some jump rope, imaginary jump rope. If you want to get your regular jump rope out, that's fine. The advantage to the imaginary one is you can do double unders without ever getting caught in your rope. Also without catching the, my, my lights all have strings. And if you jump rope in the house, you get the jump rope caught in the strings and it's, it's really ugly. Okay, have a seat. I'm gonna do some dips. If you're putting your hands on the floor, I can't, I gotta put my knuckles, but you want, you don't want your fingers facing back. You want them facing towards your toes. And then you want your back flat. So the motion's not coming from here. It's coming from your elbows. And then turn over and we're going to do some fish flops. So you're here, can you even see me in the video? No, I'm not sure. Okay, so basically I'm on my chest, my hands are here or here, and I'm lifting my chest off the floor. So what you're working here is your core, your whole core, front, side, predominantly the lower back. You don't want to be doing this. That runs on momentum. Going nice and slow means that you're using muscle, that you're actually getting stronger. And my floor creaks. Can you hear my floor creaking? That's what happens when you live in an old house. Okay, if that's not enough, do some more. Go out for a run, come back, work on the form. Okay, so um, a couple of things. This form has a lot of places where you step back, center block punch. If you took a lot of classes for me this summer, we called this move the Pilsan. I don't know where this form comes from. We got it from Master Bogdansky. I learned it in Black Belt Club, which was the equivalent of Pro Tech back when I was a Red Belt. Um, I did it at tournaments and demos for years. Um, we taught it to a few people as a tournament form, but we haven't taught, it had never been taught in a regular class at McCoy's um, until we did it last summer. So this was something for all the Black Belts. This is a cool form. I don't know the origination of it, what style it originally comes from, but we got it from Master Mike Bogdansky. And this move that we call the Pilsan, you step back, through Soko Rip Chassi, center block, rotate to Chingle Chassi and punch. So we're gonna start it here. You're gonna step back, center block, punch. Step back, so I'm throwing the block in Soko Rip and then rotating into the punch. And in the form, so I want you to do that back and forth a few times. And then in the form, there's places where you do it in a circle. So I'm gonna step back, punch, turn, block, punch, turn, block, punch. If you keep doing it like that, you're gonna get dizzy, but I can step back, block, punch, step back, block, punch. Then I can go the other way. Block, punch, block, punch. Block, punch, block, punch. Block, punch block, punch. Okay, so find some variations of that. Back and forth, do some circles. Find somebody in your house who can swing something at you. A noodle, a pillow, a pad, 
their arm or their leg if they don't mind getting um, if they don't if they don't mind getting hit. So have them advance on you. Block punch. Block punch. Block punch. Or stand here and have them randomly come at you from whatever side. That one I stepped into. I should have stepped back. Okay, so have them come at you. Um, circles back and forth. Um, you have to get to where you can do that. By the time you're a black belt, you should be able to do that without thinking. But you tend to put it in the context of the form and it, it becomes what's the next move. And it's not what's the next move. It really is a self-defense. Okay, then um, move in the form. It's a place in the form. And this is not the part that we're going to do this week. But I'm going to start here and put my hands in a diamond on my hip. I'm going to step out and block. So this is the block. And this is sort of like when the kids do action karate form four. It's like an index. So I'm here. And then I'm going to step forward, hands back to this hip, side kick, step back, center block punch. So you start here. Hands come to this hip. Step out, step in, side kick, center block punch. Okay, I don't know if I can do it on the other side. It's not on, it's not on the other side in the form. So I'm going to step, block, step in, side kick, step back, center block punch. So block, side kick, center block punch. So I want you to, again, put somebody there, practice it as a self-defense. Okay, then we're gonna do the first half of the form. The first move is a breathing exercise. You're showing control of power, you're showing stance. So if you do this in a lazy stance, if you're doing this, especially if you're doing it as a tournament, it's all over right here. So I start here, double punch down in a, low, in a core stance, toes are straight forward, up, I bring my weight up a little bit, settle, and push up. I turn to the left, block, just like Gun Sangoon. It's very easy to run this into Gun Sangoon right here. Block, step back, block, punch. Index, step back, block, punch. Index in, hands come here. Step out, push. This hand's gonna tuck. This one is going to scoop as if someone's trapping you. You come under. Kick. Punch. Leave this hand out. It's going to come all the way around. I'm going to chamber underneath. Center block. Punch. Punch. Here. Come back to the front. Chop. Punch under. Kick. Turn. Chop. Punch. In. Arms up. And settle. Then I'm going to, like, the first movement doesn't have a step. It's just index, push, index, punch. Rear leaning stance, low block. Other side, rear leaning stance, low block. Back to the front, rear leaning stance, center block. Okay, I'm holding someone at distance here. I'm going to come up with the back of my hand under their chin. Come around again, strike. Pull them in. Back leg side kick. Okay, so now I want you to pick some of those phrases and think about them as self defenses. Okay, so the first one this is a very matrixy kind of self defense. We have all those matching guys coming at you from lots of different directions. Okay, so this is really the very beginning is it's a lot of moves, it's a lot of circles, it's really only a couple of phrases. So I'm here, attackers coming from the front, attackers coming from the back and I make sure they stay gone, okay? Somebody grabs. Um, under, the, under the chin, kick, punch, new attacker. This keeps them at distance as I come around, block the punch, kick, new attacker, back to the front, chop, punch, kick, new attacker, punch, and then settle set your weight. So when you practice that phrase, you really, you need, you need an uki, 
And it's really easy if you have a Yuki who's also black belt and they're working on this form too, because they know where to go. If not, this is a really good test of whether or not you know the form because you have to tell them where you need them to go as they come around you. Okay, so now we get here. Next section. Somebody is there, punch them away. This is very stylized. Somebody's kicking you from that direction. Block the kick. Another kick coming from here, block the kick. Punch coming from that corner, block the punch. Under the chin, um, solar plexus, grab the guy's face or his arm, pull him in, side kick. Okay, so the thought for, that's the first half, we'll, do the, we'll finish it next week. So some of you guys know it, but a lot of you guys probably haven't practiced it. So practice that this part this week. What I would like you to do is all the classes I'm doing this week, my assignment for you is to sing a song or say a poem or recite the alphabet while you're doing your form. Because if you can do that, that means the form is burned into your muscles and it's, your brain doesn't have to be involved. And forms are ways to practice self-defense. And if you have to get your brain involved, if you get attacked, self-defense isn't going to happen. So you need to have these burned into your muscles. Okay, so let's see how this goes. The other day, upon the stair, I met a man who wasn't there. He wasn't there again today. Gee, I wish he'd go away. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. My, what a lot of fish there are. Once upon a midnight dreary, as I pondered weak and weary. Okay, that's about the extent of my poetry. I uh, fan poetry and I can't sing, so that's what you got. What I'd like to see if you wanna send me video of this is your piece, your form or your piece of the form with your song or your video. This week seven, we'll finish it next week. Talk to you guys later.